Hello, my name is Csaba Gombos with Global Services Team. I'm going to present you how announcement management works with Avaya Control Manager in 7.1.2 release. Avaya Control Manager supports TN2501 AP announcement boards and media gateway wall resources for announcement management. Announcement management is performed through the media portal application of Avaya Control Manager. It is possible to distribute media files in MP3 and WAV formats to different systems such as Communication Management, Experience Portal, POM and AACC. In this video we will demonstrate Announcement Management with Communication Manager. Prerequisite to proper Announcement Management is successful integration with Communication Manager. Follow the steps outlined in Chapter 6 of configuring Avaya Control Manager release 7.1.2 guide from CM integration. Avaya Control Manager can automatically perform the enable file XFR command on Communication Manager for starting the file transfer process. When this feature is disabled, administrator must manually issue the enable file XFR command before file operations. Let me demonstrate how it works in our lab system. Let me demonstrate how to configure a media storage, the media storage group announcement on the Avaya Communication Manager. First we have to navigate to the configuration portal and under UC the media storage. Let's add the new media storage. A storage type should be a CM as communication manager. Let me show you how to check alias name name host name in the communication manager. In the set interface we are going to issue a list media gateway command and we can see we have two media gateways. Let's, let's show the media gateway one. We see here the IP4 address ending with the 225 and the other details, the media gateway announcement board on the V9 slot. Let's copy out the IP address to the hostname field and uh, alias name and name should be the same. It is the 001V9 as it is in the V9 slot and media gateway 1. Connection type and port should be FTP and 21 this case and uh, location is our location. URL should be only used in HTTP connections not for communication manager so we can discard it. Max file size is 20. Username and password. The username has a limitation of 6 character long. This is gonna be the FTP username. The password limitation is 12 character long. Let's switch to system parameters tab and we can enable here the automatic file XFAIR feature. So our control manager will enable the file XFAIR on the communication manager automatically every time file distribution happens. Let's save our first media group and let's add the other one. It is also communication manager. Alias is, uh, we can check it again. We have the second media gateway. Let's display the media gateway too. And on the second page, we can also see it's also in the V9 slot. So alias and name should be 2V9. And hostname, this was the 228. Port again, we are going to use FTP protocol, so 21. And location is the same as the file size. Let's give a username and password for the FTP. And enable the automatic file XFAIR. The next step is to configure media storage groups. Let's go back to UC and open the media storage group. And let's set the new storage type CM. Group number, let's check uh, the available group numbers on the communication manager. As you can see, we have only one audio group, so the two is an available number. Let's use two. 
group alias name is any name and location is our location. Before we save our media storage group we have to assign the media storages to our group. Let's add the previously created two media storages to the media storage group and save it. Aoya Control Manager does not support importing existing audio groups from Communication Manager, thus all audio groups must be created using Aoya Control Manager. When you need to manage existing CM audio group, remove the audio group from the CM and recreate it using the Control Manager. Announcement distribution is managed in the media portal. Distribution is equivalent to upload or broadcast announcement file to media storage or media group. In the media portal media file removal is also possible. So let's navigate to the media portal. Let's go back to the portal first. And media portal. And media files where we can distribute a new announcement. Let's add the new one. Let's select our location and just browse or drag here a new file. Our file will be welcome to Awaya web file. File name, file type and size populates automatically. We only have to fill out the description. We have to save it and after saving the file distribution appears. Now we have to click on distribute and distribute the file to a new location. Here we can see the previously created two media storages and the one audio group. Now let's uh, distribute this file to 1v9 board. Click again to distribute and distribute the file to the new location and confirm. You can see the status is processing and once it's updated it will change to finished or active. The status changed to finished. Let's distribute this file to a new location. We are going to use 2v9, the second board, and distribute again. Confirm. Operation completed. We can refresh the status by opening again the file distribution and we can see here for board distribution the status is finished. Once the announcement has been distributed, associate the uploaded WAV file with an extension using the announcement facility on the Avaya tab. We are about to add a new announcement to the system. Let's uh, fill out the details starting with the number. The name and the alias should be the same as we distributed in the media portal without the extension. Type in our case, let's select integrated and board. Let's choose the first board and save it. The announcement has been saved. Click OK. Now it is possible to use 5015 announcement with the uploaded WAV file. Thank you for watching this video. Please send your questions and feedback to mentor at awaya.com or find us at Twitter at Awaya Mentor. For more details on other technical information, please visit support.awaya.com.